Hello everyone, my name is Kyle Mummy, and today I'll be presenting my official detection system that I made with a Raspberry Pi for ADME 489Y at the University of Maryland. So to start off, uh, we imported the NumPy, ArgParse, CB2, and IMUtils packages. Within the ArgParse package, uh, we have to add four arguments that the user can put in the terminal, uh, including the prototext, video, model, and the confidence percentage that they'd be willing to accept uh, for their application for the facial recognition. Uh, in this case, it's defaulted to 50% detection. So we start off by um, opening up the video feed and identifying the height and width of uh, the video frames um, in order to set up the output video file uh, that will save the new video with the overlaid uh, facial detection system um, data over top. So once the video file is opened, uh, we'll be creating a blob in which we'll look to identify uh, these um, faces within the video feed. Um, if the argparse library is able to um, detect that there may be multiple, one, one or more faces in the feed and the probability of detection is over the threshold that was specified by the user above, um, then a bounding box will be created in red around the perimeter of the uh, faces on the video feed and text will show up above the bounding box in blue um, displaying the exact percentage that the argparse um, uh, projects that there is a face, actually a face around the downy box. Um, so down at the bottom of the code, the user will have the option of either simply creating the bounding box or filling it in completely black or blurring the area. And this could be done to protect the user's ident identity for uh, whichever reason. Um, but um, these lines can be simply commented out to choose to do one or the other. Um, later on in this video, I will show one video where a bounding box is just made, another one where the added bounding box is filled in completely black, and another where line 70 will be commented out and the region within the bounding box will be simply blurred. Um, and for this demonstration, I've decided to um, show the frame to the screen so you can kind of see it live. Um, but after the code runs uh, completely through, all the videos, all the images uh, will be um, written to that new output video file that. Um, I just described above. And here's the rest of my code. So today I'll be using this video clip from the movie Miracle uh, to display my um, face recognition system. Uh, here's the original video, which I'll be overlaying a bounding box, um, blacking out that box, or blurring it um, to protect the identity of the user. So here's a preview of the video that we'll be using. And so if I comment out the blurring and the coloring in uh, lines of code for the region of interest, uh, we'll see that the bounding box will come up around uh, the coach's head when I pull up the video. And so we can see that in the video frame, uh, you can see the percent, the probability that a face is being detected in that bounding box comes up in blue above the red bounding box, um, and it stays locked in around uh, his face for the duration of the video. All right, I'm that. Um, so next, I will uncomment um, the blur. I mean, sorry, excuse me, the coloring function. Um, to see how that looks when it's filled in. And for this next portion of the video, um, I will speed up the video so it looks natural in real time. 